everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we started a new scenario and found ourselves in the middle of an outpost with all our with all our weapons and armor gone. But we've managed to recover all of it, I think. Bonnie and Draco are still very low on spell energy, but we'll do what we can, and we don't have much. Now, though, we still need to explore through here and try and find and deal with the leader of the guards here. There's nothing in here. Here. A rock. Nothing. I mean, there's buckets of water, but we don't care about that. That's interesting. Whatever this fort was used for. A broom. Nothing. Nothing. There's nothing else in here. A priest in red robes stops his chanting as you open the door. It takes him only a second to realize that you are not one of the bandits. He commands the three bandits to slay you and begins to chant a ritual. The blade one of the bandits equips looks an awful like lot like the one Sheik used to have. Lightning spray. Of course he was immune. I should have expected that. Oh, that priest is powerful. And we are in big trouble now. Thank you for the healing. You, however, are in big trouble. And you're dead. Great. Now I gotta reload. Mages, I tell oh, you what, I really hate them. Always such a problem. Actually, no, that was a priest, not a mage. Alright, after combat, poop, 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 poop. Try Ice Lances instead. That barely did anything to him. Of course. Well, this is a problem. Great. Okay, reloading again. Okay, I really hate this. Wait a minute. Haste elixir. That could get us around to him. Because I need to kill him. Yeah, a bit of damage, but it's fine. And you... You can't cast it. Okay, he's taking a lot of damage. That's good. <laughs> Terrified. But you know what? It's fine. We got that priest. You notice a copper key on the body of the priest. You take it. Excellent. We used one of our precious uh, potions, but I don't use them that often. Alright. So what have we got here? We've got... A ruby, steel short sword, huh, an extra one, nice. Unidentified chainmail, and a steel long sword, that's better than what we had. Steel large shield, also better. Alright, so we have some weapons that are actually much better. I like it. Yeah, we don't need the regular port chain mail anymore. It's not useful to us. You are getting that better weapon. Alright. This copper key should be able to get us into the back. We've got to open these. Alright, 
I didn't count how many bandits we killed, even though we were told there were like was it? quite a few. All right, we managed to get this key. This should allow us to unlock the upper areas here. Yes, pull the lever. All right, what have we got in here? We've got energy potion. We're gonna need to use that. Gold necklace value. Iron chain mail. You know what? Yeah, you can wear that instead of the chitin armor. Bonnie, I guess you can wear the chitin armor. Not too bad. Is there a hidden passage over here? I don't know. It looks like there should be something there. No, it looks like there's not. I imagine the guy probably didn't put any uh, hidden passages here, so... Here we have healing elixir, yes please, an emerald for value, and trash bow, and an ash bow, not a trash bow. This crude bow can go to cheek. Alright, that's nice. You two need to drink these elixirs, they're all you got. Okay, so now we just need to go upstairs. All right, up we shall go. Yes. Unbelievable. You turn a corner and discover a bandit sleeping on a chair. He mumbles something in his sleep and smiles happily. You creep close to him and... Take his weapons and interrogate him. You gingerly remove the man of his weapons. He is so fast asleep that he does not notice a thing. The next part he does notice, he does notice and it is a very unpleasant way to wake up. You grab the man and place him firmly in a headlock. As he wakes up, you squeeze him tighter to show you mean business. Whoop. Help! The man grunts, and when he fully understands the situation, Don't kill me! What do you ask of him? Where's Captain Carlington? Go down the hall and turn right west, to your right. When you're walking, turn to your right. He's in there. You thank the man by knocking him unconscious. Down the hall and turn to your right. All right. He's in here. The man in the room recoils in your presence. His face is clean, his clothes smooth, and the captain's insignia practically shines on his arm. You recognize him as Captain Carlington, and he seems to recognize you. You are those wanderers who joined in on the last second, aren't you? How did you escape? You tell him the tale. Carlington frowns in deep thought. I see. And now you've come to rescue me. That is commendable. I have to th I thank you, of course, for my timely rescue. What have the bandits done to you? They've been interrogating me. They want to know the defenses of the town I'm stationed in, Grimoria. I've, of course, told them nothing, but who knows what would have happened if you had not appeared. The bandits had not yet resorted to violence, so I still have the function of all my four limbs. Carlington taps the hilt of his sword reassuringly. Wait a minute, why are you still armed? <coughs> Carlington's mood darkens. Well, because I've been working with the bandits. Because I've been informing them about caravans from Grimoria. Because I told them to set their base in this abandoned Imperial outpost. Because I've been stuck in a backwater for twenty years. Because the captain's pay is not enough. And I would have gotten away with it too if... Ah, Have at thee! Well, I kind of figured that out when they described him. No, you know what? Don't. You give a healing. Ow. Go for it again. And there goes Captain Carlington. So much for that. Imperial Guard, that's interesting. What does Imperial Guard do? I mean, aside from give a lot of protection. 5% chance of saving life. And that's 8 to 17. Okay. Better than the steel large shield, I'd say. I mean, you're going to keep that. Okay. Not bad at all. Ten steps into robbing. Ten easy steps into robbing people by I. M. Morian. Surely we've all been robbed once or twi thrice on our journey in the highway of life. When inspecting the common bandit, one notices an important thing. These mongrels know very little of the proper way of removing your fellow man from his possessions. Which is exactly why I have assembled this helpful guide on how exactly a proper villain goes about his labor. Chapter 1, Talking the Talk. 
I've never been robbed, but, uh, I did get jumped, and two guys almost mugged me once. Ooh. Ah! We got amber and healing herbs. We've also got rod of major call. That's gonna be useful, I imagine. A tome lies on the pedestal. You know enough about magic to know when you see a magical item, and this certainly is one. You open the tome only to discover that you can't immediately read the runes. As is the way of wiz wizards, whoever wrote this book wrote it in code so that rival mages could not benefit from their wisdom. Will you take some time to try and decipher the runes? Yeah. You manage to decipher the runes on the tome. They instruct you how to call lightning from the skies to rain death on your enemies. Ah, lightning spray! And improve it. I like that. Eh, a little more experience. You've come face to face with the leader of the bandits. He is a vicious looking man in a plate mail and he wields a massive claymore. He stops in conversa his conversation with the woman in wizard's robes when you enter the room. He gives you a brief questioning glare and shrugs. Looks like some of the world savers escaped. Gar! Bar! Kill him! The two massive ogres on your either side advance on you. Okay then! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I kind of want to get that mage dead first. Lightning spray probably won't be very effective for the mage, but... Okay, gotta reload there. Pardon me. Alright, let's try this again, and this time I'm actually going to throw out that rod of major call. Actually, wait. Wait. Use that rod of major call. That didn't do very much. Ow. Okay, those guys are very powerful. That's down. That's good. Alright. Try this arcane blow. Wow! Yeah, that was useful. Now you need to heal... Oh, crap. <coughs> ah, crap. Okay, that was very useful, but I gotta reload now. Dang. Alright, this is definitely something we can do. You know what? Drink this haste potion. I thought that would work. I'd hoped it would. Okay, you... Alright, you need to give a healing to Draco. Excellent. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he's very powerful. You know, it's slow. He was slowed. Good. <coughs> Alright, give a healing. Alright, the bandit leader is taking damage. Now, how about a blessing? This will help him out a lot. Should have cast the spell again. Too late now. The ban the leader of the bandit falls dead to the floor. This group of bandits will no longer plague the innocent, and their death set an example to evil men everywhere. The work here is done. Excellent. Now what have we got here? We've got Drake skin boots. Oh, too many items. Come on. Fine. Drop these iron long swords. All right then, let's see. We've got gauntlets, ring of skill, dragskin boots, unidentified claim, plate mail, steel helmet. Really, the steel helmet's too heavy. All right, let's see here. We've got 
Okay, the Drakeskin boots you're gonna wear. The gauntlets you're gonna wear. Does Draco have gloves? Draco does not have gloves. Pick up the steel helmet. Thank you. Better than the iron. I think Draco needs the iron. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and over here we have... Uh, nothing we need to take. All right. Mission accomplished. I don't know where the gold was that we were told about. Could be a hidden passage, but no big deal. All right. We did all level up, so what the hell. Actually, yeah, more points in defense because that armor we were wielding wasn't that great. was getting in the way, I mean. Yeah, that works. Shall you descend? Yay! Alright. Accomplished our task. Now we can get out of here. Actually, now that I think about it, perhaps first, we should go down and inform that guy. Yes. What do you want to know? How are you holding out? Slightly better, but don't worry about me. Once you've cleared the way out, I'll try myself to safety. Well, you've cleared the way out, so you can go out to safety. Alright. Let's get the gate open again. And let's leave. You've defeated the leader of the bandits, and with him gone, this group of outlaws will scatter to the four winds. There's nothing left for you to do here, unless you want to explore some more. You ready to leave? Yeah, I'm off to other adventures. You leave the fort and the gruesome memory of the ambush of the platoon. Many good people died to put an end to these bandits. Now their souls may rest in peace. The end. All right then, that was a short but simple scenario. Not too bad. Still got a few more scenarios by the smoo guy. <laughs> you know, amusingly enough, just uh, just yesterday he. He posted on the forums saying that the last scenario I did, Rats of Plenty, was one of his shorter scenarios. Apparently it's not. <laughs> uh, anyway, next episode we'll move on to another of this guy's scenarios. Till then, uh, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.